I'm so bad with names. I'm so sorry if you guys like my reviews. I never know anybody's name. I feel so bad. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Sharon Nick, and I am Shadowhunters Trash. And this episode was so much better than last week's. The only thing I'm upset about is that, um, they got the white wolf. <laughs> Funny, fun fact, I named her Shelby in my head, and, um... Kind of like uh, the Wolves of Mercy Falls series. Remember, there was a wolf on there named Shelby. I think she was a white wolf as well. And they ended up the same way. And please remember, I make completely unbiased reviews because I have not read the books and everything I say is basically, basically, is strictly based off the show. I so in this episode, this episode was actually really good. It starts off right where the last one left off, where Jace and uh, Victor, no, his name isn't Victor, Valentine. There we go. <laughs> Where Valentine and Jace have gone through the portal, and he's like, the reason you saved me is because you know I'm right, you know I'm your dad, and you know that, you know, I am in the right, and the clay is wrong, and everyone else is wrong, and I'm right. You believe in me. So, Jace is obviously conflicted. He doesn't want to be evil, but he feels like since that's his dad, and his dad has some very good, valuable points, that he should just believe him. And then you also have to think about it, he's disconnected from his parabatai, from his sister, from his family, and there's so much going on that he can't necessarily, you know, save the world on his own. There's no one there with him. So it's really difficult for him, and I really feel for him. I want him to be better, and I want him to be happy, and it's just, it's just not happening for him. This poor kid, he's really struggling. And then we also get to see how everyone else struggles with Jace being gone as well. We see Alec, who is just falling apart because that main consistent love of his life, who is Jace. We, I love how they're completely ignoring the fact that he was, like, in love with Jace last season. Like, this is some real love. And I'm not saying that romantic love is deeper than family love. But he loved this boy with all of his all of his self, all of his might, and now he's just gone and he's just lashing out at everyone. He lashed out at Magnus last episode, now he's lashing out on Clary, telling her she doesn't belong here, she's not a shadow hunter, she's not a Monday, and she's, she's nothing, she's nobody, and she doesn't belong there because it's all her fault that Jace is gone. And honestly, that's not true because the thing is, Clary, none of this was meant to happen. None of this meant to happen. But since Valentine had brought back the circle and they were going after Mama Clary, you know, Clary just got caught up in it. You know, I'm pretty sure she would have been experimented on and been stuck in one of those cages if they would have found her back in episode one. But because of Jace, he stopped it from happening. So if anything, it's all Jace's fault that he's in that situation. And the thing is, <laughs> Valentine was like, in the end of last season, he was like, Jace, come with me and I won't kill your friends. So, if this is anybody's fault, it's Jace's fault because he went with Valentine in the first place. Of his own free will. Of his own free will. Let's just say that, okay? So, next. We also get to see some of Lydia. Lydia has less screen time, but we get to see her interact with, like, Victor. And Victor is... <clears throat> Man, he's so hot. He's so hot, but he's also, like, the worst character ever. Like, he's so annoying. And he so firmly believes in the rules and that he is right and that everyone else is wrong. He doesn't see that Isabel and Alec can help. But Lydia sees it, so when, he, so when Victor says, they can't come, they can't come, they can't come, she said, bitch, you thought, and she let them come along on the mission. So basically, Alec and Izzy go out to this fighter's ring because a whole bunch of young, strong, and talented fighters are starting to disappear out of thin air. So they go to one of the biggest flight, fight clubs in New York, and they're like, all the best fighters come here, so we're pretty sure the Circle members are going to come and try to kidnap some of them, if not all of them. So we get to see Izzy. Oh my god. Izzy is so hot. Like, I hate to say this because it sounds so, like, annoying, but Izzy is so hot. Like, she's just got it going on. And it, it it's everything to me. And getting to see her beat up that big-ass man, I was just like, I am so gay. 
So basically, Izzy gets to take out the biggest guy, strongest guy there. She gets to fight him and stuff. And while they're fighting, she somehow figures out how to ruin herself to turn him, to turn herself into him. Um, we get to see her fight him. And then, as the time turns and the circle members come to get him, it turns out she has ruined herself into him. And then when they try to kidnap him, it's actually Isabel, which was so cool. And you know one thing I question though, like I actually want an answer to this question. How do they ruin themselves and other shadow hunters can't tell that they're not a real person? Like, let me see, how do I explain this? So Izzy turned herself into that man and the circle members had no idea that she was that guy until she unruined herself. Shouldn't there be a way for Shadowhunters to tell when someone is ruined as someone they aren't really? Like, when they turn themselves into someone, why can't other Shadowhunters tell? Like, oh, that's not who that really is. You see what I'm saying? And remember when Clary ruined the world's best dad cup into the mortal cup? Remember how he couldn't tell that it wasn't real? Why can't they tell the difference? This is actually something I've been thinking about. I'm like, why can't they... Why can't they tell? I feel like there should be a way. Maybe that'll come up later. I don't know. We'll see. So Clary is emotional. She's been emotional since the first episode of season one. And luckily though, this is this is really nice emotion. Like I felt it like in my soul. A lot of times I was like, Clary, grow up, or Clary, pull it together. Clary, stop crying. This time I was like, oh, Clary. So Clary is really upset because Alec went off on her and she's just like, he's right. I am nothing. I'm not special. I'm not a shadow hunter because I've only been here for a couple days. And then I'm not a mundane anymore because I know too much about the shadow world and I don't fit in anywhere. All I ever wanted to do was go to art school. So she and her mom get into a fight because we saw Mama Clary try to kill Jace because, oh! Hold on, this is the dumbest shit I ever heard. I'm sorry, I'm jumping off. But this is the dumbest shit I ever heard. They are claiming that Jace is evil because he killed a flower when he was a baby. What? So basically, baby Jace, his eyes, his eyes turn black and he killed a flower. So then she took her son to a warlock, one of the downworlders, and he's like, oh, this baby evil. Bitch. He evil. You better, you better get rid of that baby. So she just decided he was evil. And I guess when he died in the fire, when he died in the fire, she was just like, okay, that's fine. He was evil anyway. Like, what? Like, I don't, I, <laughs> it was just the dumbest shit I ever heard. Like, oh, you know, my son's evil. I might love him, but he's evil. So when he dies in a fire, I'm just going to completely forget he ever existed. That's, that don't make no damn sense. What type of parent? I don't know, that doesn't scream evil to me. That sounds like they got some anger issues. Maybe you didn't feed him. Maybe that's why he killed the flower. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it, Mama Clary. Think about it. But anyway, as I was saying, Clary is very distraught because she feels like she doesn't fit in anywhere. So she goes back to her art school where Mama Clary and Luke find her. And they're trying to tell her, hey, you know what? Relax. It's okay, we need you to come back to the Institute because you are not safe in the mundane world. And she's like, well, I'm not safe anywhere. And I could have been safe if you would have just told me that I was going to be a shadow hunter. But since her mom kept secrets because she wanted to keep her safe, you know, there's a whole bunch of confliction and there's a lot of teenage angst and I get it. I understand her pain. I get why she's upset. So I can't hate her on her too much. So she runs out of the Art Institute because, you know, her mom and, uh... Luca are there and she walks out and then we see Dot. I thought Dot was dead. Didn't we see Dot die? And she came back and she was like, come with me. You know, so she takes, uh, she takes Clary hand and they jump through a portal. Dot takes her to the boat where, uh, Valentine and Jace are and she gets to see, you know, the bottom of the boat where all of these scary, uh, people in the, in the, uh, bird cages is. So she's at the bottom of the boat and they're talking and she's like, why'd you stop looking for me? You know, what happened to you? And she was like, you know, Valentine experimented on me. I am alive. You know, I'm here. And now I have something to show you. So she takes her hands and puts them on Clary's face. And then her eyes turn red and she sees a whole bunch of like 
horrible, ugly, like death and destruction. And it was horrifying. It was dead ass horrifying. The scariest shit I've ever seen in my life. And I was like, oh God. So then Clary finds Jace and she's like, Jace, Jace, I just saw the most horrible thing. I can see the future. I was like, this bitch can see the, this bitch can see the future. Oh shit. Like I was, I was shocked. So she's like, I'm not a normal shadow hunter either. You're not a normal shadow hunter. You have demon blood. I can see the future. We're one and the same. But I need you to stop the future from happening because the circle members are going to kill off all the mundanes. But you, with your demon blood, you can stop them because you're stronger, you're faster, and you could probably kill everybody. And I was like, okay, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool or whatever. But then it turns out that Clary can't see the future. None of that was real because Dot was fucking with her. And that was, that was rude. That was just rude. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so Dot lied to her. And in reality, she was in the cage. She was in one of the bird cages the entire time. So then her and Dot have this huge heart-to-heart. -heart, and they get to warm up to each other again. And she's like, why did you stop looking for me? And she was like, Magnus couldn't feel you anymore. We were so worried about you. And we looked for you for a long time. And they did. They looked for her for like three episodes. And that's a long time in television. I'm just saying and it was really nice and her and Dot, they got to talk and then Dot figured out, you know, she was like, you know what, I'm going to let her go. So she takes her up to the top of the boat where Jace and Valentine and all the other circle members are. We find out this little mission that uh, Jace has and that Valentine has for them when he sees Clary. He's like, oh, you want to come with us? We're about to go uh, pick up this uh, this crazy animal, you know, this crazy wolf. And uh, Jace gets super protective, and he's like, no, she can't go. You know what? I'll go. So he goes ahead, and he goes with him. And that's what happened while uh, Claire was not conscious, right? So this time, she is conscious, and we see the beautiful white-haired girl from... Uh, Luke's pack and she's all chained up and they're like you're bad you killed somebody you mauled them up and then she's like no I'm a part of Luke Luke's pack we don't do that like we're we're good guys we might be down worlders but we don't kill nobody for no reason and she's trying to explain herself and then we got this crazy new shadow hunter who's like I must avenge my family's death and I'm just like okay this is really dramatic and this girl is beautiful. Someone please find her at, tell me what her at is on Twitter or on Instagram because she is beautiful and I was so shocked and I and I think she was in season one as well. They gave her, they gave her a lot of screen time. If I'm remembering correctly, she was in season one and she was in his pack way back when. They gave her a lot of screen time just to kill her off because even though Jace isn't the one to kill her, she still gets killed by Valentine after Clary and Jace escape with the help of Dot, who Dot still isn't dead. They don't kill her even after she lets them go free. And then we get to see that scene where they're running and they jump off the boat. Yeah, we finally got to see that. And that was in the trailers, you know. So I was really excited for that. So we finally got to see that. And I'm glad they got away. And he got away so early. I really thought he was going to be with... uh daddy valentine until like the end of the season i really thought it was gonna take that long but it didn't it actually went really fast now on the other side of the pair of bon, we have alec who um is working with mama clary who found something from luke his mom was one of the iron sisters i don't know what that means but he she was an iron sister which is a shadow hunter because luke was a shadow hunter before he was a werewolf um he gets this rock from his mom that was hidden inside a cat and he's like, um, this is a parabatai thingy, so, um, someone with a parabatai bond can use it, they can hold it in their hand, and then hopefully they'll be able to find where their parabatai is at, and they'll be able to sense each other and look for each other, even when they can't feel each other through their natural bond. And I was like, okay, that's cool or whatever, but then Mama Clary goes on to say, well, you know what, um, most of the people who have used this fancy rock uh, die, or they just go like non-conscious and they can't really talk about their experience. They're just like dead. And Jace is like, Jace, Alec is like, you know what, I don't care, let's do it. We gotta find him. He needs me just like I need him. You know, we're ride or die. And Isabel 
it's like hell no i'm not about to lose my other brother because we already lost um what's his name we already lost jace i don't want to lose you we lost our parents to idris because they're so sucked into like shadow hunters are above and beyond all others that they can't see the right thing to do and she's like i don't want to lose my parents i don't want to lose my brother i don't want to lose you but he decides that jace is above all more important and he goes ahead and he does it his nose starts bleeding and he starts seizing because it's all just too much for him and at the same time jace also gets a nosebleed because you know they're connected so i think he could feel all of his feelings for alec but he could also feel Alec's pain as Alec was looking for him. So he starts get no his nose starts bleeding and he starts like shaking and stuff and he's really like scared and conflicted. And he's also trying to escape the boat. So it just made everything hella difficult. And Alec really does this at really unnecessary times. Cause remember, he did it in the AU episode, and then all of the demons got through to the other world where Shadow Hunters didn't exist anymore. Do y'all remember that? I bet y'all remember that because y'all not stupid. Y'all just as smart as I am. If not smarter because most of y'all read the books. <laughs> and I haven't done that. So <laughs> there's that. I really like her and I like seeing her interact with Luke. I just want Luke to be happy. You know, I want the father of the fam to be happy. Oh, I also didn't talk about Simon. So Simon, my little vampire son, is still very childlike and he's still very human and mundane even though he is a vampire he hasn't gotten the hang of it we thought he was getting the hang of it when uh he was under Raphael's wing but now Raphael is pissed at him because he told his business to Victor the shadow hunter man so Raphael popped out of nowhere and was like bitch why you telling all my fucking secrets and he was like basically I'm gonna burn off your junk in the sun if you don't fix this problem. And to fix this problem, you need to go find Camille. So he and Magnus went off to India to one of her many apartments that she owns. You know, she has a bunch of houses all over the world to find her. She wasn't there, but we finally get to see um, Simon kind of come into his vampirism. He learns how to do the Encanto. Now, this took me a minute to remember, but in... Uh, I think, what was it, episode 3, where uh, we got to see Clary and Jace go to the vampire bar. And he, uh, the vampire did the little spell on her, and he was like, Encanto. And she was like, oh, you're so handsome, Mr. Vampire Man. We got to see Simon learn how to do that, and he did it on a snake, where he was like, you're not going to try to eat me and breathe fire into my ass today. Not today. So we got to see him kind of come into his powers and stuff, and that was awesome. I like to see Vampire Simon rise. He was doing so well, and he was wearing such nice suits when he was under Raphael's wing. I just want them to be friends again. Remember when we were all talking about how Raphael and Simon should date, and then the actor who played Raphael was like, oh, I don't necessarily... I don't like that. I don't ship them romantically. And then everyone, like, casted him off, and they were like, okay... He's canceled. Oh, I hope I didn't forget anything. I feel like I always forget something in each one of my reviews. If I did forget something, your favorite part of the episode, put it down below. We'll talk about it in the comments, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please like, comment, subscribe if you want to. It's all fun and games here. How did you guys feel about this episode? I really like this one. I like that we got to see Dot. I really, I really liked her. I was so sad she died so soon. So I, got, I was glad I got to see her again. We got to see Clary, you know be angsty like all teenagers are at one point in their lives and it was just a really good episode i really liked it a lot so what did you guys think leave it in the comments and i will talk to you guys next time love ya see ya bye